this place is probably one you've never heard of before. And yet here in this county of charming villages, 500 kilometers southwest of Shanghai, the landscape is alive with flourishing green vegetation. The cultural heritage runs deep. The locals greet you with warm smiles, and everywhere you gaze, you're greeted by breathtaking scenery. This place is probably one you've never heard of, but once you do, you'll never forget its name. Welcome to Wu Yuan, the most beautiful countryside in China. Hi, I'm Noah, and I make videos exploring China and completing travel challenges along the way. And today, I'm in Wu Yuan, joined by my lovely mother, who's visiting me in China for the first time in five years. So, Mom, uh, we're here. What are your expectations? For Wu Yuan. No expectations. I mean, I'm just excited to be here and excited to explore, you know, beyond Shanghai, beyond Beijing, and explore these um, well curated small towns that you've discovered. Awesome. And so, uh, as of course, with every uh, video, we're going to be completing a daring, exhilarating travel challenge. So, uh, Mom, are you are you ready? Are you up for it? I'm up for it, baby. <laughs> okay, so it's time for the Wu Yuan Art Off. So for each leg of our journey, we are tasked with capturing or creating a unique and beautiful piece of art. And so at the end of each destination that we visit, we will reveal and compare our masterpieces. And you roommates will have the opportunity to weigh in and vote in the comment section below. So, Mom, our first stop is Shao Chi Village. Any ideas what makes this place special? What makes this place famous? Well, I just read the the board, and it's a thousand years old, and it's known for its many beautiful trees. As we can look around and see them here. Yeah, it it is known for, as I understand, its camphor trees. Some of them are like a thousand years old. Secondly, this is a really great spot to get the authentic feeling. Of the lifestyle here in Wu Yuan, this location is less touristy, more off the beaten path than the locations we'll be visiting later on. But thirdly, and my favorite aspect of it is, it's famous for its green tea cultivation. Hoping we get to experience a little bit of the kind of tea farming and tea cultivation lifestyle. What, what are your thoughts, Mom? Let's bring on the green tea. Wow! No, we gotta go walk around this thing three times to bring good luck. Tell me who about this tree, Mom? It's more than 1,500 years old. It would take five to six people to hug it. And guess what? We're gonna go on a little parade because if you walk around it for three times, it brings you good luck. Wow. Enchanted by Xiao Qi's picturesque trees, I just had to find something for my first art piece that adequately captured their charm. That's how I ended up with these two adorable wooden pigs from a local woodcarver. Cute as they are, they cannot compare to the beauty of friendship. Cheers! <laughs> 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 传承下来的手艺文化但那边也是跟这边风格是一样的 <笑> Taking our friend's advice, we set off to check out the upper 
Shaoqi village, and it was spectacular. So inspiring that it sparked my mother's first art piece of the trip. Well, I will just tell you, water lilies have inspired art for a millennium. The blossom that is associated with enlightenment, and you can see how inspirational it is to me. Walking by is just so beautiful. And the connection with the river, the temple, the temple music going on. I'm grateful. Day one is in the books at Shaoqi Village. Yeah, what were your, your thoughts, reflections? I just thought it was a miracle. Yeah, it was just such a gift and such beautiful nature. And to be with you was the best gift of all. And then the other thing that was such a gift is the artwork that they're renowned for because of the trees, the ancient trees there. And I mean, these are just tr absolute treasures. And we were fortunate enough to spend time with one of those artisans in, in their shop. I look forward to tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be even more spectacular. Perch gracefully on a mountainside, Huangling Village is a photographer's playground. It's no wonder this place is constantly featured in global photography expeditions and travel magazines. Here, you're immersed in stunning scenery at every turn. And we're here ripe in time for the harvest and the mid-autumn festival. Just glance down to catch that tapestry of autumn colors as locals carry on their centuries-old tradition of sun-drying crops on the rooftops of their homes. And glance up to catch that panoramic sight of terrace fields galore. It's up the mountain to explore this beautiful village. It's not just a simple folding floor. I mean, can you imagine? I'm sure this was carved by hand. It's a masterpiece. It's an absolute masterpiece. All right, so back again in our Wu Yuan Hotel to do a little reflection. So tell us what your art symbol of the day was. I went out and got some awesome drone shots of the village. I think the best way to really explain it is just to show you. Right now, I'm going to show you guys a compilation of my drone footage. Hope you enjoy. I think it's rare to find a village or a town that has such rich history and culture and those absolutely breathtaking natural views at the same time. I think that's a rare combination to find anywhere in the world. It's going to be hard to talk tomorrow, but uh, we're going to do our best and bring our artistic talents along the way. Our final destination is Li Kung Village, where architectural beauty steals the spotlight. Li Kung is a prime example of the Hui-style architecture of this region, renowned for its time-worn white walls and elegantly curved black tile roofs, many of which were home to rich merchants, scholars, and government officials. Okay, Mom, can you tell us what we're doing right now? Oh my gosh. Such a delight. We're taking this boat through this ancient town. It's a world of wonder, Noah. A world of wonder. This is my art piece for um, liking, and I just love these three 
China sta statues. And what's better to pick for an art piece that inspired me than China? when we're in China. And if you look at these, each one is unique. I can't even imagine what it took in casting these. There's gold plating on the central one. Truly, they're a wonder. The day we're here exploring Li Kung, there's an art school who's arrived in a big massive flock. They're everywhere. Uh, to practice their painting skills on this beautiful canvas that is Li Kung Ancient Village. Inspired by all these great artists that we're surrounded by, I'm getting out a pad and paper and just, just very raw off the cuff, gonna draw a picture of my favorite spot here in the village. Wow, I'm really grateful. You know, supposedly this is the most beautiful countryside in uh, China. Each one of these villages that we weren't, went to were unique from the other, and I couldn't even pick my favorite. It just goes to show you like how vast, how much there is to explore in China. And I think this has been a good lesson. The beauty art is everywhere we look. And you can be inspired by what you see out in the world, like I am, and, and create your own art piece. Or you can simply admire and call the magnificence you witness out in the world as a piece of art itself, which is what my mom did. So yeah, roommates, look for art everywhere you are, and I'll see you all, we'll see you all for the next great China adventure.